Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk About Singing. My name is Marco, I'm a singer, songwriter, voice teacher from Italy, living in New York City. First of all, I want to say thank you guys so much. Thank you for all the views and the new subscribers and the likes and the comments. I have to give a special shout out to The Lambs, Mariah Carey's fans. You guys are amazing, you have been so supportive. And especially thank you so much to W and R for including me in that compilation video of YouTubers reacting to Mariah, We Belong Together, because Mariah herself saw the video and I absolutely lost it when I saw that that happened. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Because of all the success of the previous video, I'm gonna do another Mariah video just for you guys. There are countless performances that I love from Mariah, but I decided to start from one of my all-time favorite. This is a performance that I show my students when I teach. It's a performance that I consider a total voice masterclass, and it's Vision of Love from Saturday Night Live in 1990. Before we start analyzing everything that goes on vocally in this performance, I want to remind you once again, if you want to book a free voice class with me, consultation, coaching session, you can hit me up at Let's Talk About Singing 84 at gmail.com or you can hit me up on Instagram at perfectmark.music or you can listen to my original music. The links are all in the description of this video. Let me know what you think. And now let's just go check out Mariah Carey in 1990, Vision of Love, her first single. I am pausing already. You know I love to pause right at the beginning. It's ridiculous the range that we are already covering in this simple introduction. The song hasn't even started yet, and she's starting in head voice from a C5, and she is ending the run on the E flat 3. So we are basically covering an octave and a sixth on a simple introduction. <laughs> And did you hear how clear and resonant that low note is? Uh, this is very, very low for a woman, and she has vibrato in it too. This introduction is already iconic. It's, you know, her first single, her introduction to the world. But so much going on already, so much range, so many different things happening in a simple run, just at the beginning. Treated me kind, sweet destiny, carried me through desperation to the one that was waiting for me. Guys, Mariah is 20 years old in this video. It is insane that a 20 year old person can sound like this with so much control and so much awareness of her own voice so much freedom to move and riffs and runs and all the things that she does pay attention to one interesting thing do you hear that she ends some phrases with a little uh, with a little uh, like a sudden closure it's something that she used to do a lot at the beginning but she kind of stopped doing as her career progressed treat and me kind uh, there's a little uh, almost like as if she's closing her chords at the end of the phrase it took so long, still I believed, somehow the one that I needed would find me eventually. Love the dynamics. Mariah is a queen of dynamics. Did you hear that on that would, would find me? She's not switching into head voice. She's just pulling back on her medium chest. Would find me. Switching into head voice on eventually back to chest voice her tone is just gorgeous here so rich and pay attention to one thing her mouth shaping is very very vertical and that makes her low register pop out with that big sound and that resonance because it encourages openness in the back of her mouth even when she sings the e believe, she's not going believe like that she's going E. I, 
I think that a lot of people acknowledge Mariah just because of her, you know, her upper belt and the whistle tone. We tend to forget that Mariah's low voice is just gorgeous. Pay attention to one thing, guys. We tend to say that singers have a big range just when they go up. Range doesn't mean that you can belt at the top of your lungs. Range means all the notes that you can cover from the lowest to the highest. Mariah's lowest part of a range is actually super rich and resonant, but it's not dark. Do you hear that she's not darkening her vowels in order to go down there? She's actually making them clearer. I had a vision of love. She's not doing it. Oh. Sometimes we have a tendency to think that in order for us to hit lower notes properly, we have to force our larynx down. That actually causes extra tension that blocks the sound. Tension happens whether we go up or down. So if we tend to darken our vowels by lowering our jaw, it's not gonna happen. But Mariah is very, very free and relaxed and she's actually looking up and she is brightening up those vowels down there. I had a vision of love. And the result is the beautiful tone that we hear. So much going on. We were talking about her vertical mouth shape on that pray through the night. It was still vertical, but she was also opening horizontally. You can see her teeth on na. If you pause when she's singing pray through the night, you'll see this na ah. So the jaw still goes down, but she is opening up this part so that the sound resonates more here and give that buzzy, bright, sparkling effect on top of the upper chest. That's when the mix starts to kick in, even though she's not necessarily completely in mixed register. Another thing that you can notice is how she opens her mouth before phonating. This is something that I repeat to my students over and over and over again. You have to lower your jaw before you start so that you are more relaxed and then phonate from that placement, from that position, from that sense of relaxation that you have. But back to the mouth shaping thing, one thing that you can notice is how she alternates this to back to this when she's trying to go down. Carry the weight on my own. Then you have had to be. She has another switch into head voice there. Strong. And then she goes back to vertical. And then so I believe, again, you can see her horizontal opening. And then again, dynamics, dynamics, dynamics. She went from that powerful belting at the beginning, pulling back again, giving a little bit of breathiness. And now I know I've succeeded in finding the place. Back to head voice, I can see. Back to chest, going down again. This is what I like to call vocal roller coaster. And we're not even at the top of the roller coaster yet. Also, her head voice here, her breathy head voice, is not as breathy as it eventually became throughout the years, that distinctive, breathy falsetto that is so Mariah. Here, her head voice, it is a little breathy, but still so resonant and so bright and clean. Did you notice again? Breathing and opening before phonating. I had a vision of love creating the space in the mouth before singing the note. And it was all that you've given to me. I had a vision of love. It is amazing to see how relaxed she is, how free, how much she knows her voice. Do you see her facial expression? She is completely effortless. 
all this relaxation encourages her agility to happen without any effort. A dream! She's going up and down and doing all these riffs and runs at the end of the phrases. And also her support is amazing here. That phonation, so full and so resonant, couldn't happen without the right breath support. Let's see what her breath support does next, now that we're going all the way up there. Okay. Now back to the vocal roller coaster part. Feel so alive. Feel C5. So E flat five. Alive. Down to A4. I'm so thankful. From the A4, we're down a six to the C4. I'm so down an octave in head voice to the C5. Thankful that I've received. down to the A3. We covered another octave and one, two, three, four, five, six half steps from one phrase to the other. And then there's that build up. The answer, C, D, four. The Another octave jump on the same line. Have sent down to me. And then you treated me kind. On the you treated me kind part between you, G4, treated me, treat, E flat five. And then she's belted the kind, D5, C5. Do you see her mouth there? Kind. Once again, vertical opening, but also a little bit of horizontal. And then we have that sweet destiny. It's a jump of an octave again from a G4 to a G5. So I'm gonna do it an octave lower, but we have sweet G4, A, G5 in head voice, destiny, D sharp, D, C, five in upper chest. And we're not even done yet because after the sweet destiny, she has that run when she says, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes down to a C again so we have so in the same phrase we're basically covering an octave and a fifth again insane I'm just amazed at how comfortable she is switching octaves completely. Like, I really cannot keep up with her. Up, down, upper chest, lower chest, switching into head voice. There's so much going on. Think about this phrase itself, when she goes, and I'll be eternally grateful, oh yeah. When the lowest note on the, oh yeah, it's a G3. And then on the phrase right after she is, break through the night up to an E5. She is literally jumping octaves as if it was nothing and keeping the resonance going and that beautiful projection regardless of where she is so effortlessly. We're also reaching an, another peak here. So faithfully. It's an F5. So we are really, really high. Did you notice that her mouth shape Compared to all the other O's that she did before when she was in her lower part of a register that were vertical, now she went so faithfully. She did a little bit of a slide before hitting the note. So faithfully. And, be and this actually helps adding that little bit of straining effect, that little bit of like soulful bluesy effect in order to do this slide with a little bit of a, almost a distortion so faithfully <laughs> the 
the amount of notes in this knowing the one that I need I would find me eventually. It's seriously out of control. She is starting on the from the fourth octave G A C five that I needed. All the way all the way up to E5, down a sixth to G4, up again a fourth to C5. Find me eventually. That yeah ends on a C4. So again, in two lines, we are covering an octave and a third. I don't know why I put myself in this situation sometimes. So, <laughs> so we have that in that insane whistle, <whistles> something like that. <laughs> On the highest note of that riff, we are hitting a C seven. We are officially in the seventh octave. Remember at the beginning we were on the third? We are now just entered the seventh octave. <whistles> Ridiculous. As soon as she's done doing that, right after, no hesitation, yeah, I had a vision of, and then the ridiculous line takes her all the way down down to C4. So we were at C7 just a few seconds ago. And then, yeah! F5. I had a vision of love. Down to C4. And then, and it was oh, that incredible belting. Did you notice again? Oh, oh, very open. It's She's opening almost as if it was an ah, and she's singing the oh through the shape of the ah, and it was oh, 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 oh. Again, riffs and runs. And then, one thing that I really want you guys to pay attention to, it's those quick, quick runs that she's doing on those oh at the end. She's actually singing three notes every single time. She's not doing oh, 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 oh. she's doing oh, 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 oh. So three notes every single time. And she does it seven consecutive times. And then oh, that you do do C five. Oh, that you C four. Another octave down. And then turned out to back to breathy, soft head voice. And now what? That B is so powerful. B5, C5. And then, oh yeah. Up to E. So we are B. Did you hear the vibrato going on in her voice? And did you see how she was trying to control her mouth shape not to apply tension? It was a B. There was a little bit of teeth. The opening was still vertical. If you pause it, you will never think that she's singing an E. You will probably think that she's singing an A or an A or an E. But it's B, and her lips were actually moving a little bit, and then, oh yeah, up to E5 again, on the same breath after sustaining B, C, and then another descending run, back to C4, another octave and a third, 
down from the highest note that she hit on this phrase. Again, I just want to point out that this is one of her earliest performance. This is her SNL debut. She is 20 years old in this video. It is insane to me to think that such a young girl can have so much knowledge of her voice, so much power and projection, so much freedom, so much control, so much awareness of her instrument and freely decide whatever she wants to use in terms of register, tone, octave, dynamics. She is doing everything so effortlessly and it's just it's just amazing to witness that and to think that she is so young but already so capable and talented. I think this performance is an absolute vocal masterclass for, for the amount of things that are going on. And she's basically doing everything that a voice is capable of doing in terms of from low, low chest, very resonant, very supported with, with vibrato and everything down on the third octave up to beautiful medium chest projected and still with resonance and vibrato and, and support to the upper chest, to the little mix kicking in into the upper chest, all the way up to whistle register, jumps of octaves with head voice, breathy falsetto. There is literally everything. And at the same time, I wanna give her credit as a songwriter because the song is still so catchy and easy to listen to despite how complicated everything is melodically and vocally. Thank you guys so much, I hope you liked this video. If I forgot anything, as always, because there's so much going on here, write it in the comments. Let's start a conversation about it. I'm going to remind you once again, if you want a free voice class, a free coaching session, consultation, everything, if you have any questions, hit me up at let's talk about singing 84 at gmail.com or message me on Instagram, perfectmark.music. You can also listen to my original music everywhere on Spotify, Apple Music, every platform. If you look up Perfect Mark, the links are in the description of this video. Thank you, Lambs. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you. I really appreciate all the support and the encouragement and the nice words. I'll see you soon with another reaction. This is Marco. Let's talk about singing. Ciao.